Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hope you stay around. Subscribe down below. You know you want to. Anyway, today I'm going to be sharing with you another wig which I got from Hair Cube. I absolutely love Hair Cube. I get them from Amazon. You can get them cheaper from Shein but it doesn't state that it's from Hair Cube so it could be from anywhere. Anyway, ooh, I said in my last um, video which was my Primark haul that I have a wig coming and by the pictures and everything that I saw online it looked amazing so I'm really excited about this uh the situation is I shaved all my hair off a little while ago and I'm letting it grow back and um yeah it's really working because it, this is just my natural hair I haven't straightened it nothing I've literally just washed it and left it and it's so nice and soft it's healthy and the sun tends to be damaging the ends a little bit Nothing massive compared to what I've had in the past, but I thought I'm going to treat myself to a wig, see how I feel, and I might, I might, um, if any good, I might start wearing them again daily. So this one cost me nineteen pounds ninety nine. I will put the link down below. I haven't seen this one before, so I'm assuming this is a new one. Um, the link will be down below, but it comes with a wig cap, which is brilliant because I got rid of all my wig caps. And uh, I'm going to need it. I've got a, a bush to maintain this time. Oh, gosh. Okay. So. It doesn't look like the sort of brown that it states. It looks more ashy. But let's have a look. So get this fishnet thing off it. And then I've got the tissue bit inside. A little tag on it. Oh. Oh, it's looking really, really nice. Look at that colour we've got a bit of shedding going on here a bit of shedding there's always shedding with every wig i've brought when i first buy it and brush it so before i put it on my head and have it irritating me i'm just gonna brush through it and get them out right so looking at this wig this has got a fringe at the front it's a short, I can't remember what length it is, it's like a 14 inch, something like that, uh, curly wig and it's got the breathable cap again, so you've got the good, you can put your fingers straight through, which is perfect, especially in this heat. You've got the top part here, which gives you that um, support for the, the, the root area, because you want that to look natural as possible, that's what the root looks like. It's a little bit shiny. More shiny on camera than it is in real life, but we'll have a little play around with that. I'm absolutely loving, loving this colour. Cannot wait to get it on. So I've given it a little brush through. I'm going to put my hair up into the cap now. It looks like it's one of those really tight ones, but I haven't got a hair grip to hand so I can put my hair up and then put it in. But I'm just going to tuck it all in as best I can and then try it on. I'm in. Right. Okay. Ta -da. Let's put it on. So you've got the, the bits at the back as well. Um, so you can have it to the length that fits your head best. So shall I take the... I'm going to take the tag off. One second. Get it central. This is quite a long fringe. So I'm going to have to have a play around with it. I've got a feeling with this wig, it's going to need volume. Like, it's there's a lot at the bottom, but I need more at the top. So, let's just get it down to how it is. I do like it. But you know me with a wig. When I put it on, I've gone, oh, I love this, I love this. I do like it. I just think it's a bit flat the color's beautiful and i love the waves i love the fact that it's it's got nice waves to it it comes down a bit more at the front than it does elsewhere so you've got that sort of going on i just don't like how it's flat at the top so i think i'm gonna have to play around with it and lift it up a bit maybe with I don't like using hairspray too much on these because I don't like to give it an, an, an effect and it can go a bit crunchy, you know, when you've brought yourself like a new doll or something, they've got that stuff in their hair. Because they're synthetic, 
you got to be careful what you put on them. Uh, I do have a um, Schwarzkopf uh, got to be glued spray, but I think that's that's just too harsh and it makes it crunchy and then gives it a bit more shine. So I'm just going to use a cheap old 99p thing from the chemist and I'll try with that. But at first, let's just have a look at it as it is before we play around. It's nice, but it's just this bit here. I think it's just too flat. There's no body to it. There's a fly in the room. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the edging of the the, of the actual wig. So, like, if we was to put it up, because I do like to wear my wigs up, play around with them. That's that's not so bad actually. My hair needs tucking in a little bit there. This bit again, just to do a bit of that. So yeah, you can. I think you can wear this up, like so. Um, the edging again. I say with all my wig videos, just play around with it. If you're gonna put your hair up, just play around with it, um, because you don't want this line here showing through. But what you can you can do is bring down a few baby ones, and just feed them like that just to hide those edges so you can put it up you could put it high up oh i like that a little really high up do like a bun or something would look really really nice i've got a mirror behind so i'm just having a little look in there as well the fringe is going to annoy me, I'm not going to lie, so I don't know if I should just cut it shorter or maybe give it a bit of spray to try and keep it either side. I think if I just, I, I would never cut a wig until I get to the point where I really think, no, this needs to be changed. So I'm not going to do that right now. But what I am going to do is try and give it a bit of volume. I don't seem to be getting any hair cut falling on me now since I've brushed it out. So I'm going to maybe try just lifting it a little bit this isn't really the best brush to do it it's got such a lovely color it's not easy to back brush a synthetic i'm not gonna lie it's definitely not easy it just doesn't give like um like real hair what i'm going to try and do is take it all the way over so from here i'm going to spray it so it gives it that bit of a bend which makes it harder for it to fall flat so i'm going to flip it over like so oh gosh look you could have you can have an overdo i'm gonna have a look at it in a minute because i'd normally have my overdo that way so i'm gonna have a little look Spray, scrunch, look at this colour. Does that work? I just don't like tidy hair, I like messy hair. I think it has. Let me have a look and see what it looks like flipped over. Giving me a bit of... Yeah, see, I much prefer that. I don't like centre partings on me. I like an overdo. I just don't think I have the face for centre parting. Because I think that looks better. What do you think? This is what I'm using. This is Bristow's Ultra Hold. Maybe a little bit there. It's really soft and silky. It's lovely. Really lovely. Just tucking in my hair a little bit more. I think I found a real good one here. Have, haven't I? I found a really, really nice one. I was, I was torn between two different wigs. So they had a, a bleach blonde fringe like that. And it was all shaggy and ble bleached, like proper platinum blonde. 
with dark root and I thought well dark root always works best for me because I've got dark hair so if any bits like that show through it doesn't matter I can just pull a bit of my hair out but where my hair is dark and I'm not doing anything to it because I want it to grow healthy and I've been so good with myself that I'm not going to do it so I thought maybe that's the best option but I saw this and I just couldn't resist it's so pretty what do you think of it let me just it's nice isn't it this is really nice and you can pluck the top as well so if I put it back to its center part in not that I want it back in the center part in but you can have a pluck around here and just not make it so crisp because if you pluck around with it and make it look a bit more um sporadic sporadically or something is that the word i'm looking for is that the word i'm looking for um it will make it look a bit more natural either way i think for 19 pounds 99 this is a bargain and i absolutely love it i'm loving this color it's gorgeous summer color it's not it's not like a you know like a cheap tacky type blonde wig this is a really nice colored wig a, with a real natural looking color it says it's brown but it's actually like an ashy blonde it's so i don't know i just i really love it now is it gonna annoy me like this no but with it hanging all over my face, I think it will. But then I'm like that with every single fringe wig that I get. And then after a while, I'm like, I'm used to it now. It doesn't bother me. With a blunt fringe, I couldn't cope with it. With the side parting, I don't know. I just think it hangs a bit too much with the side parting. This is the thing. When you get a wig, you just have to play around with it until you know what you like and what what suits you. I definitely think some sort of parting suits me better than having it like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I have linked this wig down below if you are interested in this one. This is new to me. I look at their wigs all the time and I've not seen this. And I really, really like this. I've got some shed in. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just... just that but that's what I've pulled off the brush so that's probably from earlier shedding it's nice it's nice it's just that fringe is annoying me let me just do you think it looks really fake what do you prefer do you prefer it like that just sort of hanging or do you think it looks better with the part in? Because I can't decide. I'm not sure. But I know that I really, really love this. And I am I am going to be wearing this out. I don't think it needs a lot doing to it. I just need to decide on which way it, sh it suits my um, face shape. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But I think I need to get put some... Oh, I could try this. BO5 lifting paste. I put it down for this purpose and I haven't even given it a go. So let's stick some of that on it and rub it into that root. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, you can wash these as well. So if you put stuff in and you regret it, don't worry, because you can wash them. Um, I don't know if it's got a thingy on here. It tells you all about this. No, just the hair mat. You can, though. You can wash them. You can wash the wig gently with your hands, not rubbing it hard. You, you wouldn't anyway. You don't wash your own hair hard. What's that about? I can't read this properly. Where's my glasses? Soak the wig in mild shampoo for five minutes and take it out again. Rinse the wig. That's all it says. But I think the lifting paste does wonders. So I'm really happy with that. Much better than being really, really flat. Yes. £19.99 for good hair all summer without having to dye it or go to the salon. 
you don't have to worry about styling it washing it as often as you would your own hair color fade nothing just pop it on and you're good to go anyone's thoughts let me know what you think in the comments down below i love bringing you a wig video i will definitely be bringing you some more i've got some goody goodies sitting in my favorite basket so if you like this kind of video stay around and i will see you all again in my next one thank you for watching bye